Well, despite shrinking enrollment numbers at CPS School, the Chicago Teachers Union remains a powerful entity with a war chest topping nearly $60 million. And a big chunk of that is from member dues. But some are raising concerns about how their money is being used. Sometimes reporter Lauren Fitzpatrick took a closer look at their books. The union has these two very specific political action committees that they established to be able to, to be politically active for right. lobbying purposes and direct contributions to candidates they like and to their own members who are running for office. So these teachers are rumbling about, well, why is it then that the dues are paying for candidates as well. Mm -hmm. um, and that's where some of the, you know, the donations that the union made, big donations to um, Tony Preckwinkle's campaign for mayor came out of the union's main, um, you know, fund. Yeah. Um, and if you're a CTU member who's a Lightfoot supporter, you're kind of like, eh, why is my money going to that? You might have questions about things like that. So mm -hmm. one of the things that the chief of staff, Jennifer Johnson, said, though, is that you know, the, the union's work is inherently political. And as long as there's a mayor running the school system as opposed to an elected school board, then their work is going to have to get involved in politics and mm. they're going to have to lobby. There was lots more in there about real estate that they're wrapped up in, legal payments, polling they're paying for. I think one of the most surprising things that we learned um, had to do with the rent situation that the C2 is in. Mm. So a couple of years ago, they moved to a really beautiful building um, down on Carroll Street, kind of in the, um, like that industrial corridor off of Damon. But they, their lease at the Merchandise Mart, where they used to have their headquarters, wasn't over. Hmm. So they're still in that lease until um, sometime in 2021. Yeah. And they're losing more than a million dollars a year still in paying. rent. They're still paying on that. And they found a way to sublease, so they're making some of the money back mm -hmm. that they owe. but. I mean, all in all, it's still more than a million dollars that they're just paying to the Merchandise Mart. Why should people pick up the Sun-Times and read this story? I mean, people should pick up the Sun-Times all the time <laughs> and read all of our stories. But I think, you know, the, again, the teachers union is, they're, they're powerful in the city and they've got 25, you know, 24,000 members and they're the people in your children's school. And I think that our story and our examination of how they spend their money might get at some of, you know, just their, their priorities and for what they might want to do next. Yeah, and to put this in perspective, CTU members, they pay a little bit over $55 per paycheck. When you add it all up, that's a little over $25 million that CTU brings in just from member dues alone. So these teachers obviously build up a lot of that of that war chest that they have. And some are been they've been grumbling online. They have a Facebook group separately. Yeah. Uh, just really concerned about how that money is being spent. Did they talk at all about why they got out of the Merchandise Mart if they still have that uh, lease deal? No, no, that's the thing. They, so it's like throwing away money. Exactly. So they, they did not get any CTU um, spokespeople necessarily on the record except for the main spokeswoman. Mm -hmm. And she basically explained that uh, they felt that it would be a more cost-effective option to move, but it doesn't seem that cost effective Ooh. when you're losing money. Let me tell you, $100, over $100 a month for, mm -hmm. and I don't know or disagree with where totally. that money is going. Like, right. I, I definitely understand the importance of a, of a union, and I think there are a lot of pros to it, but this is certainly one con that yeah, you, I, yeah. you'd be frustrated. You yes. got to consider this too. Their uh, charitable giving's gone down as well. They've yeah. scaled back the CTU Foundation's charitable giving in half. So Oof. now the money their dues are paying isn't even going as much towards towards, you know, some of the, the beneficence they had before. Yeah. Well, it's something at least to, to be aware of, certainly. Yeah. Well, to learn more about this story and others, head on over to the Chicago Sun-Times website.